you know, when you are Secretary of State, you get to go out and you get to see what people like about the United States and what they don't, what they admire and what they fear. And frankly, sometimes our military force is a bit overwhelming to people and it's sometimes feared, although frankly, when there are hard jobs to do at the frontiers of freedom, people are awfully glad there's an American military that volunteers to do it. And sometimes our economic power is resented and certainly our cultural penetration, I mean, how many MTVs do you need, is sometimes resented in the world. But the one thing that is universally admired is what I've called our great national myth. Everybody has a national myth. You know, for some countries, it's we lost that territory in 1389 and we're going to get it back. That's actually not a healthy <laughs> national myth. But ours is the log cabin. It doesn't matter where you came from. It matters where you're going. You can come from humble circumstances and you can do great things. And that has brought people here for generations to just be a part of it. And frankly, it doesn't matter whether it's somebody who came here to make five dollars, not fifty cents, or Sergey Brin, whose parents brought him here when he was seven and he founded Google. The United States of America has attracted the most ambitious people to be a part of that great belief that it doesn't matter where you came from, it matters where you're going. It is that immigrant culture that means that I can walk into this audience and I can find people of German-American heritage and Mexican-American heritage and Indian and Korean and we're all American. People who profess Judaism or Protestants or Catholics or Muslims or people who profess nothing at all and we're all Americans.